Hello everyone and welcome back to Primordial Arts. You might notice the outfit change, but that's because today I'm going to be showing you guys how to become Saitama in Primordial Arts. So, yeah. I'm going to start by showing you, I'm going to start by showing you guys the revamped time because they uh they basically redid some some things. So first off, there was apparently something I missed that I heard about. If you have Master Clock active, you can choose which timeline you end up with when you go when you use probability. So I'm gonna create a few timelines. So five and then Oh wow, it teleported me right. So alright. Okay, I'd say that actually worked. Uh, myth, um, oops. Yeah, anyway, I apparently that worked before, but, so I was just showing you guys because I didn't go over that in my last video, because I didn't know about it. So yeah. Now, move sporadic suspension, all right? The first move you get when you got time. That isn't the punches, all right? Basically, so if you're in fast forward mode, one thing that they changed was, as you can see, the orbs are flying in from above, like way higher than normal. Before, they just created around you and then flew at them. Also, the explosions, I think, are bigger. They look bigger. I feel like they've... I feel like they've gotten bigger. They might be the same size. I don't know. Editor, you can play a clip of a... Uh, it creates orbs of energy where your mouse is. There is a bit of a delay. But if you time it right, you'll basically deal um, damage per second with it. And it also creates timelines when you use it. Okay, once if you have it set to fast forward, it basically creates these ranged orbs which go where your mouse is. I'll demonstrate the other abilities in a second, but anyway. So yeah. Yeah, rewind as well. I, th I feel like it got bigger. I don't remember. And time bomb as well. I'll go full power. One. Full power time bomb, 14 timelines. Create that in. As you can see, a massive, massive explosion. So, yeah. Also, so yeah, I think it might be bigger, but, um, editor, you can, you can just play a clip of a previous video that I did on this, showing if it really is or not. Anyway, so the last thing that we're, um, that I want to show you that they did to, uh, time was they totally reworked the temporal convergence move. Now, if you don't know what temporal convergence is, you have to use all of your timelines, like max them out. As you can see, when maxed out, the third attack changes. So, right now we have 14 timelines. We can, we can use that full power time bomb, but if we have 15 timelines, it becomes temporal convergence. Now, before this created a big feel where it's just exploding for a large amount of time. However, in terms of combat ability, I mean, it looked freaking awesome, but in terms of usefulness in combat, it had like almost none. This is what happens when you use temporal convergence. Yeah, this is what it does now. I'm gonna get them to follow me because there's... As you can see, it teleports them to the middle. And yeah, they're just taking damage. They are taking damage. 
just constantly. And they're in as long as they're in here, they'll keep getting teleported into this orb and just they'll just continue taking damage. Also, I use this in combat. I use this in a, against an actual player. When they ran out of the thing, they got teleported right back inside. So it forces you to take as much damage as possible. So the lo more charge you have, the more damage you can deal. So yeah, time got a massive buff because that temporal convergence will get a max level player with no damage resistance down to 300 health. Or at least around, somewhere around there. So yeah. So anyway. Now there is a winning combination. when There is a combo that you can do with time. I don't think I went over this in my previous video, but you know. The standard combo, if you're skilled enough, you can use this. I have no skill, so I'm not really good at doing this myself. But I've seen people who use this. They're, practic they're basically invincible, alright? Time is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, for PvP. So what you do is you get the 14 timeline. So the way it works is, as you can see, he's right there when we selected him. So we uh, run around, dodging their attacks. Normally you'd be jumping and dashing and stuff. But, you know. But, you know, you get as big of a timeline as you possibly can. And then, once you get to, like, 14 timelines, you use time bomb where they were standing, and then reverse punch them into the explosion. This will force them to take the max, maximum damage. Alright, this is an unavoidable combo. And because of, because of time's abilities, you can actually use rewind and stuff to restore health if you take damage. And then you can use probability, and you know, time has a lot of health restoring moves. Yeah, time has some good health restoring moves, and an undodgeable attack. Unless they've got like speed or something, I feel like speed could. Like in game, I feel like speed could, because like that has a passive dodge ability and people with swords have a passive block um, perk, but um, yeah, in reality, like, if this was, like, real life, it would be, it, speed wouldn't matter, like, how fast you are doesn't matter, you can't outrun this, because, you know, it's literally pushing you, it's basically forcing you, right, there's no dodging it, there's no, so yeah, if they don't have that passive dodge, passive, or passive block, they can't escape it. It is literally undodgeable. And you just keep doing that. And then, once you get... And then, if you survive long enough and get enough time... Once you get them down to, say, below half health, hit them with a high-power temporal convergence. Alright? Do that, because, you know, at full... With full charge against the max level player, full charge will do, at max level... 800 damage it is extremely powerful so yeah but it does drain your power you could also be hitting them with attacks while they're inside the convergence as you can see that went to down to half so that would massively cut into the damage you deal with the temporal convergence so i'd recommend sticking to sporadic suspension to get just a little bit extra damage in there if you want and you could also like jump around get to a you could also use the the time to like get a better vantage point and attack them if they somehow survive you know prepare to attack them if they somehow survive anyway that's time and yes saitama's outfit is very fitting for this because uh, he well, in the manga, he unleashes a time-based power. Like, it is literally a time-based power, if you haven't heard. I'm not going to say any more so that it won't be spoiled, but yeah. Saitama has time-based powers. But if that's not good enough for you, there is something else we can use. And this pa and that power is Shockwave. This is basically the Saitama of powers, alright? 
because you got the standard shockwave punch. Alright, as you can see, it just create well, here. I'm gonna do it. Here we are. As you can see, it just creates a big shockwave, alright? Also, you got the normal punch, which you got the weak punch, alright? So then you have Saitama's normal punch, alright? You can also, you know, jump into the air. Well, that's jumping forward. Like, it'll propel you in the direction you're, like, going, you know? Maybe if we. As you can see, it'll propel you in the direction you're looking. And you can get some pretty good height off of that. Also, cooldowns are pretty nice. You also have the serious table flip. You might be wondering, how is that the serious table flip? Because it launches opponents into the air. As you can see, it'll flip the table on them. Then you've got this power, the full power shockwave punch, or the serious punch, which does this extremely long range. And if that's not enough, and you might be thinking, well, okay, okay, these powers definitely look like Saitama, but you're still, you know, just normal, you know. But I mean, how can you actually be Saitama with this power? I mean, he's indestructible, isn't he? Well, yes, he can't become indestructible. But you can become nearly indestructible because of repel armor. You take 50% less damage with this. We were taking 50 damage per hit. Now we're taking 25. This is literally the highest damage resistance you can get in the game. So yeah. Also, one more thing. This power can reflect powers. Right. I, I don't know if I can do it on here, but you know, if the power is listed as a projectile in the game, you can use the full power shockwave punch to send it back at your opponent. I don't really have any... I'm going to go see if I can find someone to demonstrate. This is an incredibly fun power to use. If you and if you got skill, it is super good. Well, I don't know if I can demonstrate. I'm really bad with the timing. Like I said, you know, if you got skill, time and shockwave are two of the best powers to have. Like they are extremely good. In order to get shockwave, you have to have sound and then you have to go evolve it. Like yeah, map got all changed now. But yeah, come over here, book, and uh, yeah, come down to sound, and then you got shockwave. Yeah, really fun power. You can basically be Saitama. And if, you know, you're good enough with the power, you can be just as dangerous as him. See, so yeah, I don't really see anyone. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Boop. Honestly, this is just fun. So, yeah, I'm basically Saitama. Also, another thing that's fun to do with this power, corpse ping pong. All right, I'll try not to kill him, so, you know. Just to show you guys, I don't normally like attacking people for no reason, but just to show you guys, you can do... This, and then launch them up. Oh. Oh, he's got Phoenix. And I mistimed that. Alright. Alright, all right. Let's see if I can do that again. Well, I don't know, there's a combo you can do that will just repeatedly launch them up into the air. But, um, I'm not good with it. <laughs> like I said, skill is required. But, um, anyway. Yeah, this is the Saitama power. This is the Saitama of powers in Primordial Arts. And, yeah. Apparently the person who showed me this was, um, 
this was his favorite power, and, you know, I quite enjoy having it, even though I'm not good with it. So, yeah. I thought that someone was, like, charging up an energy attack. I was like, oh. Serious punch. Send that flying into the sky. Yeah. Well, something that they removed was apparently there's a power. One of fire's evolutions is called sun. You have the power called cruel sun, which creates the sun above you and can throw that at your opponents. People used to use the full power punch to basically play ping pong with that. Someone would throw the sun and then they take turns launching it at it, and then they take turns bouncing it back at each other. I I wish they still I wish that was still possible, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the guys this because you know this is pretty fun. Shockwave's a pretty good power that I do not see very often. I mean, even sound itself is good. Like even the pre-evolution stage is it isn't too bad. It's got some good moves and combos, you know. But yeah. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, because that helps, and yeah, what's up, my friends? Okay. That didn't work. Okay, take two. With that, my friends, I... <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Yeah. With that, my friends, sayonara.